Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make scones. More specifically, lemon blueberry scones. Mmm, yummy, I love me some scones. Now these scones are gonna be the type that you would find here in the States, like at Starbucks and other types of bakeries. Not necessarily what you might find in other parts of the world. I had requests to make scones from a friend of mine from church. She asked me to make them. So here we go. That is what I'm doing. They're really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. First, let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and put the rack uh, at the middle of rack. And now what we wanna do is we wanna take our flour, two cups of all-purpose flour. I will go ahead and put a list of the ingredients down below in the description. And then we're gonna add our sugar, one third cup of sugar, white granulated sugar, baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, salt, one half teaspoon of salt, and baking powder, one teaspoon of baking powder. Let's take a whisk. Go ahead and whisk this together. Now let's go ahead and add in our zest from our lemon. Now this is just one medium sized lemon or you can use a large one depending on how much zest flavor you want. And I just use my handy little citrus zester to get the zest. If you don't have one, you can buy one or you can just kind of like try to get the peels off with like a, a little peeler and then use some scissors and cut them up really small. And now what we wanna do is we wanna take our butter this is one stick of butter or eight ounces of butter. And I froze it first. And then I used my cheese grater to grate it up into really small pieces. And we'll use the spatula to get them all out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here with our hands and fingers. Make sure your hands are clean. And we're gonna go ahead and just start pulling it all together. We want to get all this flour mixture all coated with the butter until it resembles coarse crumbs. Okay, so it'll look, it'll look something like this. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. And then take uh, my other bowl here and I'm gonna take my egg, one egg. Go ahead and crack it in there. Great. And then let's go ahead and whisk this up. Great. Now let's go ahead and take our sour cream. This is a one half cup of sour cream. Go ahead and put that in there. And let's mix these together. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our mixture back over here and we'll go ahead and just pour this in there. Make sure to get it all out. Switch over to your spatula when necessary. And also at this, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my one cup of blueberries. And now let's go ahead and just start mixing it together until it comes together and makes our dough. I'm gonna take it off the spatula here. Remove it from the spatula and just come in here again with our hands. You can use a wooden spoon too. And you're gonna be careful though, because you don't wanna smash up the blueberries too much. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna grab our sheet pan and I put a silicone baking mat on there. I really love these things. I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the dough and we're just gonna Bring it all in and push it down. All right, and then when we, when we have it shaped like a circle, roughly like a circle, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pizza roller or you can just use a knife or like a butter, a, a butter knife. I'm just gonna go down it and down the middle of this way. And then down each middle again. Now, if you don't wanna use blueberries, you can use poppy seeds, just take out the blueberries and put them with poppy seeds and those will be really good. Sometimes with the blueberries, it makes it hard to, to cut because it like runs into a blueberry. 
And then we want to kind of just take these and spread them out. So then just come back in here with your fingers and just shape them nicely if you want. Also what you can do is if you don't have the baking mat, you could do it like on your table or your counter and lightly flour that surface when you're pushing it all together. And now let's go ahead and bake it. Like I said, 400 degrees Fahrenheit in the middle rack for about 15 to 18 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. And when they come out of the oven, they'll look something like this. Let's go ahead and let them cool for a little bit. In the meantime, let's go ahead and make our lemon glaze. All right, and for our glaze, we are gonna start with two tablespoons of melted butter, one fourth cup of fresh lemon juice, one and one third cups of powdered sugar. And I'm just gonna put half of it in first. Take our whisk. Nice. Add some more. And I don't like to just throw it all in because I like to see what kind of thickness we got. And at this point, I think I will put the rest in. And if you want it thicker, add some more powdered sugar. If you don't want it as thick, then don't add as much. And then we have our nice little lemon glaze. Perfect. And now while our scones are still warm, we're gonna go ahead and take like a tablespoon. Just go ahead and drizzle it on. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna let these sit for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna come back and put another layer of glaze on it. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna come back in here and put some more glaze on. And you can skip this step if you want. You don't have to add the extra glaze. I just like lots of glaze on my scones. Yummy, our scones are done. Now I'm just gonna let these sit for about five to 10 minutes and let that last layer of glaze kind of just harden up a little bit and uh, then they'll be ready to eat. All right. The lemon blueberry scones are done. They turned out fantastic. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. One thing to note, if you want your scones to be smaller, this recipe makes eight larger scones. If you want the scones to be smaller, then divide your dough into half and make two smaller circles and not as thick. And then you can wind up making twice as many from one batch, so you can make 16 smaller scones. I am Matt Taylor. Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah, so excited. I'll grab this one right here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm-hmm.